Hi everyone, Messi Coda here. Welcome to another game dev interview. And in this video, I'm speaking with Software. Try to say that without your teeth in. They are the creators of UMMO, Modable, Opportunity, and the Easy Replay Manager. So if you ever wanted to make a multiplayer game, but you didn't know where to start, well, you're in for a treat. These guys can help you turn any single player game into a multiplayer game using UNET. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you in a second. Messi Coda back again. Just before the interview starts, I just want to let you know this is taken from a live recording from Twitch. That's why I'm on Twitch. And thanks to you guys, I'm a Twitch affiliate. Thumbs up. Great job, everyone. So we managed to get ourselves affiliated in just a week of streaming. That's because you are all amazing, beautiful people. And if you're ever looking for free assets and a lot of fun, a place to hang out and chat, well, I'm streaming about three times a week. Sometimes I do about four or five times a week, depending on how drunk I am. So pop over to Twitch, all the W's dot twitch dot TV slash the messy coder, and hopefully you could get yourself a funky asset in a raffle. All right, let's get our feet up and let the interview begin. Because you've got a few different assets. How long have you been going on the asset store? How long have you been playing about making assets for this wonderful community? Yes, so I started in 2011. Wow. So my yes, yes, some time ago. So I started with uh, Easy Replay Manager. You know, I, uh, I I read good stories about the asset store. You know, from people who uh, you know just uh, enjoy making assets there. And uh, one morning I woke up and I thought, like, you know, so there's nothing like a replay engine. You know, where you have. Uh, or so many uh, sports type of games uh, could use it, you know, where you can replay the recent round, uh, which was played, an example, you know. So, and uh, I just woke up one morning, so like, I have to do this. And so it was really small in the beginning and was, um, yeah, not, uh, not uh, really... Uh, representing much, but um, over the years, so I, I uh, extended it and... Uh, so you, there's really, in this scene, there's really some lovely music. So it would be awesome if you could play that too. Is, is, that, is that you playing that? Sorry? Is that, is that you playing the music or? No, no, it's, uh, it, it's some, some <laughs> uh, public domain music, of course, from YouTube. But, uh, as, you know, I uh, uh, played the music in the background from this and it really matched all the... Um, events happening in the video so that's why i like the music in that no no i don't make music so that's something i really don't do so this was your first foray how did it go well, i mean for people wanting to get started because i've been asked a few times okay how how do people get started in the asset store is it worth yep. their while do they spend more more time maintaining and supporting than they do mm. you know, having nah. fun yeah, yeah, good question. Um, no, it's it's uh, it's definitely worth a while. I mean, uh, you have to, uh, of course, uh, make the assets so that uh, the most uh, amount of people possible will definitely, um, yeah, get this most, uh, yeah, most of the time uh, right out of the box working, uh, which is a hard thing to do. Which is definitely a hard thing to do. Uh, if you are in uh, into programming, uh, if you are if you're experienced in programming and um, yeah, you, you you need an inspiration, you know. So so I just w woke up this m one morning and for for some reason I thought like I need to make this uh, replay asset, you know. So it doesn't exist. Uh, it definitely didn't ex ex exist back then. So and um, ah, it would be really nice if you played the music. Anyway, just to watch the video uh, in the in the store. Uh, the, uh, oh, the, the music was playing my end, but maybe did everyone hear ah. the music? Yep, people could hear the music. Don't worry. Maybe you just couldn't hear it because oh. it was Skype. Oh yes, I, I I muted you. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, That's what happens when you mute me. You don't hear your beautiful music playing in the background. Uh, exactly, exactly. The music uh, was thank great. You. Thank you. Thank Steve you very too. much, sir. So um, yeah, yeah. you've let's go through that was the list. All of, worthwhile. It was worthwhile, wasn't it? Yeah. So you've got um, you're very generously you've given us. Oh, Green Phoenix is following. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Um, we've got Easy Replay Manager, which was your first, and then what was next? Um, next I had, well, next one definitely was a uh, UMO. And, that was and the first uh, version was, what, what did you, was you using the Photon, was it? Exactly, no. Uh, so the first version was uh, using the f uh, first version of Unity Networking, you know, so okay, the wow. what, what what is now legacy, what is now deprecated. 
but if you buy UMO now, you still get this version included, you know, so you still buy that also as well. So, um, yeah, maybe I remove it in, in the future at some point, but, uh, but it was really the first version and you still see the same, um, you still see the same, uh, you still see where the current UMO came from, you know? So if you uh, put them next to each other, you still see um, the the influence of the first uh, going into the second. And also that, um, so some things about the first uh, Unity networking um, library were really not that bad, you know? So you had, uh, <laughs> yeah. Not not that bad, but. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, it was bad all over was uh, definitely with security and and um you know some some uh, older fashion kind of uh, uh, yeah style to do things you know but um so there was once a few things you like like um zinking uh, a, f a variable with, with just one line you know so there was just one line zinc this and that and uh, so it came out on the other side if you just uh, wrote the same command um yeah in the in the deserialization function so to say so and uh, so i re i recreated that um in umo2 to have um yeah to to yeah because i really liked how this worked you know so so we've got a question um would this work with 2d russian is asking uh yes it worked yes would it be like right, you got a different learning curve or is it just pretty much the same as what you would do for 3D? I think it was, look, the, so the thing about UMO is that, um, so there's many different uh, player um, controllers, you know, on the on the asset store or what you write yourself. So there's not one single way to, to, uh, to have a player controller, of course. And so I wanted to make a, an asset which is really as flexible as possible, which can um, incorporate all these, um, yeah, all these different kinds of uh, player controllers, so that uh, the thing you which you made in single player, you can really uh, convert uh, into multiplayer with not too much of work, you know, so that it would work the same way, uh, still be your player. But uh, be you know um, responsive in all kinds of ways you know like uh, with a local player uh, authority and uh, server authority and uh, and all this you know. I'm trying to set up the um, the scene that you've got us. So everyone's probably got a black screen at the moment on their computers. So yep. um, don't mind me, everyone, because I haven't worked out how you can sort out stuff with uh, OBS at the same time. Um, all right, so. Well, there's one question here: Does UMO require a server or a client server? Uh, so UMO is uh, mostly is uh, optimized for dedicated server use, you know. So because um, this is the uh, definitely the most secure way uh, to do this, um, and um, yeah, you, you, I mean you can make it work probably with uh, with a host, you know, with with a server who, who is also who is o who's also a client, but. Uh, Definitely, it's uh, I optimize it for for dedicated server use. All right, so we I'm in on your. Um, here we go. I'm running around. Yes. So this is so, now running on the server on um, one of your servers that you've got. This is running on a right on a remote server in Munich. You know, so you have you have quite some um, you know some some uh, some distance between you. You know, you have. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's not uh, feeling locally right now. I can I can understand. So uh, your uh, interpolation time is already 0 0.2. All right. So um, if if it still feels too laggy, then maybe uh, you need to um, uh, increase that. So what should I stick it to? Sorry. What should I, what, what would you recommend? Uh, in the in the upper right yep. uh, corner, there's uh, you know you just uh, unclick that bu yep. button and then you put uh, example, put zero point three. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Is it all okay? You, are you, is it all looking? Yeah, good? yeah, it's, it's it's visible. It's visible. Okay. So everyone everyone on here is an NPC that's running around, and this is fully authoritative. Yes, sir. That's this is fully authoritative. Yeah, say that and, ten times fast. Uh, <laughs> Exactly. This is fully authoritative. This is fully authoritative. This is fully authoritative. 
Um, all right. So um, yeah, this is so. This is uh, one scene. So it was before. It was local um, local player um, authority. Now it's uh, now I made it into a server authority just before just. Uh, shortly before the before the interview so you can the whole point of umo is that you can now take your single player build that you've got you've been playing around making your single player game and get umo and then make your single player game multiplayer basically yes so this is definitely this is uh, this is a scene from unity which they uh, just uh, had on the internet and single player so and with not too many changes i uh, just uh, i made it into uh, being multiplayer and um, just before the interview i made it from cl play, uh, local player authority into server authority you know so um, should demonstrate that it is really uh, quite the um, flexible uh, library so I still see you having some lag. Okay, this is definitely also because uh, because of a large ping uh, from your side. So I am yeah, uh, I, I, I am streaming and I've got so I've got a lot of shenanigans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I have it. Uh, I'm 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 in, I'm in Holland and uh, so the servers in Munich. So this is not so far away and yeah, I have it basically pretty fluent. So yeah, there's there's the cam there's the camera issue. So the camera is always the thing. If you have uh, definitely if you use authoritative uh, um, uh, server mode. So what, where uh, are you? Are you able to drop into this as well? And I can see you running around. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm here as well. <laughs> are you one so, of these bears? Uh, no, no, I I look like you. <laughs> oh, let me try and find you. It's like a, it's like a where's Wally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's true. All right, let's find him. Where's he hiding? Ah, I see you. I see you. I can't see him. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, hello. yeah, exactly. So let me just get out of there straight away because there's a lot of people here from the Ultimate Survival community. All right. You, you and I have been having a little bit of a chat occasionally where I'm trying to, I'm trying to gauge out of you to see how easy it would be to do. There's a lot of people that would like to know if they could get something like Umo 2 and then get Ultimate Survival, obviously with a bit of work, be able to turn something that they've made in Ultimate Survival single player into multiplayer for the use of your magic Umo 2. I mean, that, uh, okay. how, how, I, I wish, how much work yeah. would, 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 would something like of that scale involve? Given that you've got inventory systems, you've got crafting, you've got base building, Yes, so um, so it could be an example. You gave me a, uh, a basic controller the other day, so and I uh, had to I, and I used about yeah about half a weekend or something, um, you know, ac accounting for sleeping and uh, eating and all this. Okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I uh, used the weekend to to convert it uh, to to multiplayer basically. So this was only camera and movement, you know. So so it, it can be a little bit uh, tricky sometimes, but you know. So the these uh, player controllers they are set up their own way, you know. So there's no, um, yeah. There's no walking around the fact that these controllers are, uh, you know, individual, and so um, it, it's not it's it's not automatically magic with with everything. But an example with this scene, you know, it was pretty much plug and play. You know, so uh, you just follow the um, you just follow the instructions basically from my tutorial videos, and. Um, this yeah so if you get into a more complex territory uh, you have weapons you have inventory you know um i would say that uh it is ba it's basically the most easy way to do it is with umo uh but it doesn't mean that uh, right out of the box you will have everything working like uh, ultimate survival and all this and all this you know but you need to have a, a third pl third person controller in there because at the moment uh, like Ultimate Survival's just got F an F FPS, so it's got a first person controller. Um, so if you were to do multiplayer, everyone would just be a pair of arms walking around. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Um, so you you have to uh, have the at least the uh, third person prefab, you know, so um, you can still. Uh, 
make it work in, in, in first person, but at least you have to have the full uh, uh, prefab. And this is also a problem with uh, many assets. Like uh, I think I try, I don't, I don't want to bad talk now uh, other assets, but uh, so I, I, I um, <laughs> tried it with uh, a, um, with an asset from um, <laughs> from the asset store, which is definitely basically a very popular FPS asset. And exactly, you have uh, no head and uh, only arms walking around, no no uh, no body really. And of course, how can you convert this? So you need the full prefab first, of course. So, quick question about now you've moved. So you're using Unit for for your for your stuff. Yes. Yes, true. And obviously, there's a like the internal um, unit as Unity is never a divisive um, community at all. Everyone in there is perfectly harmonious and loves each other, and everyone <laughs> is respectful of what everyone is doing at all times. Of but, course, of course, um, there is a bit of a, um, a communication going on between Unit and Photon and the rest of the lot. So, what um, made you choose Unit over all the alternatives that you could have picked? Look, so uh, Unit is the native um, networking solution from Unity, you know? So I assume that Unity will keep it uh, running and running as uh, as good as possible at all times, you know? So uh, if that is not the case, then... Um, so I hope that they pick up the, the, the stuff which needs improvement and improve them soon, you know? Um, so basically, unit is is um, it's really what what uh, concerns main, maintainability is really a, a, a great package actually you know so it's it's uh, actually it's it's very easy to get in you know it's very easy to to get the first uh, good results to get the first uh, success experiences you know and if you uh, use it further on uh, you see that it's very maintainable and um, yeah I basically I like it very much. So there are some uh, overheads maybe here and there uh, because UNIT is a high-level network library, you know, So and they're doing a lot of stuff for you which you don't even care about, you know. So this definitely takes some processing time. Um, but I think as time goes by, they will weed these things out and um, improve it bit by bit, you know. So this is at least this is my impression and uh, what I think... Well, there Should then will happen. There was a recent uh, thread on the forums where someone's been doing some pretty detailed comparative analysis between different multiplayer networking solutions um, yes. in, in Unity. And there was a, a bug that they found with Unit, and they were pretty active. I mean, immediately they started um, looking into resolving the issue on the forums. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. It's obviously, you know, the, the guys over at Unity really are. Um, actively wanting to make unit work and make it into a better solution but it's right. also I mean, it's good to have um, lots of different options out there because it drives competition um, True. if there was no competition there'll be no innovation and then you just be stuck with unit so I think it's absolutely. healthy for the community absolutely so you've seen in this scene um, an example so we're, we're having here like 50 NPCs which are running around like crazy you know they're very fast it's very fast movement and there are many, many of them, you know. So uh, UMO uh, will in the next version also come with uh, area of interest uh, management. So it is not included in this scene because I wanted to uh, show um, that really there's a lot going on here. And it's all uh, synced uh, to, to every client, you know. It is, there's so, a lot. There's a lot of bears jumping out. Exactly. Jumping in my face. Uh, we exactly. Just, we just got a question here from Kanamis. Kanamis, the legend, the... Uma Legends that we've got in chat today. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Um, from the asset description, it appears like Umo implements the Valve source networking model in Unit. Is that so? Uh, sorry, the what? The Valve source networking model. Um, so, you know, so while uh, developing, I, I took um, quite some, uh, you know, took quite some uh, good portion of the. Research was just uh, looking at what 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 solution, what kind of solutions are there, what kind of um, yeah, how can this be really uh, be applicable to a lot of many solutions, uh, which you know which are definitely there, you know. So you have the whole asset store full with uh, with their own with their own players with their own uh, kinds of movement and solutions. 
So um, yeah, so I took uh, a good uh, good time to to research this. Yes. Just want to say a massive thank you to both Green Phoenix and Liquid Silk Studios. Liquid Silk Studios and Green Phoenix for both subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much, both of you. You are beautiful human beings. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm still getting shocked every now and again when everyone subs. It, people following shocks me enough. Donations just blow me from my chair. And then the subs are just amazing. You guys are fantastic. Guys and girls are well, beautiful. Beautiful people. All right, so should we do a giveaway of your replay kit. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, let's work it. Let's go over to the bot. So, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right, cool. So, we're going to do. Let me set it up. Don't start your shenanigans just yet. I need to do the reset and I need to put over a link to your thing. So, could one, um, Andy, could you ch chuck in a. a, a link to the um this wait which one is it we hang on my brain's gone there you go replay manager easy replay manager and then we'll start the raffle is everyone ready i'm gonna click the button raffle is open we got 59 seconds to go 58 56 stick your raffles in chat so this is the asset we saw the video from earlier. Yeah, exactly, you know? with your beautiful music playing. So you just want to talk us a little bit again about the easy replay for those who may have missed the video. And I'll tell you what, okay. I'll stick it back sure. in as well. Sure, so easy replay manager is um, you know, a, a as, as flexible as possible solution for you know, recording your games, you know? So you can record your games uh, f while watching it from one angle, and then you can replay the games while while and and uh, have the camera from a totally different angle, you know. So it's it's not a screen recorder; it is a data recorder, you know. So so what actually uh, sounds pretty easy to do in the beginning, you know, is when you get into child uh, objects and all this, you know, is it it can be quite the uh, yeah, it can be quite the hassle. Right, we've got a few seconds left to go. Okay. Everyone, stop doing your raffles because the raffle's over. We've got the video playing of what, what someone's going to win. Who's a lucky winner? Gildar! Gildar's the winner! Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. Speak up in chat and claim your prize. Uh, yes, you can save the recordings. Well done. So, drop me a message and I'll send you after the stream. So, for Easy Ripper Manager, I also have a lot of uh, new things uh, coming. So, uh, you and Mo, I'm uh, in the in the middle of uh, um, overhauling a lot of things. You you can uh, see on the asset store description. Uh, is Reaper Manager the same? After you and more updates are done, I will immediately switch to Is Reaper Manager, and um, I have a uh, new um, file, a uh, new file protocol engine. You know, uh, sorry, a uh, new um, serialization engine, and um, new features coming with that as well. That's exciting stuff. You're a very busy man. Yeah. So. I, I I cannot uh, I cannot decline I cannot reject that. <laughs> so how do you handle uh, managing deadlines for all of these different assets that you're working and being able to um, keep your your existing clients happy with all the updates that you do? So do you, yes. do, you, do, you put, do you announce your updates before you start working on them, or do you just wait till you're done and then let everyone know that there's a new update that they can? Uh yeah, for, so for this update round, I really announced this uh, also on the asset store pages, on the assets in the description. Um, most of the times I work, you know, as fast as possible. I work full times actually uh, on these assets, also as fast as as, as far as possible. Uh, I have, um, you know, the bills need to be paid. You know, uh, clients come with uh, individual projects. You know, uh, so. Uh, when I work on that, so I, the assets, the assets are a little bit uh, on the sideline. But uh, as soon as you know, as my, as the way is clear, you know, so to say, um, I work full time on the assets, and this is like t since 2011, and this will go further. So, so having 
when you started, you only had the one asset, and then you had Umo. Now you've got quite a few. So the more assets you have, um, we've got a question here from Spawn. Is it difficult managing multiple assets? So pretty much like we're asking, but because you've got multiple assets, it probably yes, makes it hard. yes, yes. You you need to um, to uh, multi manage. You know, you need to uh, uh, yeah, you need some multi threading. You know, so to to focus on one thing. You know, finish that and then immediately switch. You know, I do this sometimes several uh, times a day. So you know, this is something you 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 can do, or or it's it, it can be difficult for some people. You know, so I know people who say like, I only work on work on one project, and if something goes, uh, if something interrupts, then you know I'm totally lost. You know, but. Uh, yeah, this is something uh, is a little bit difficult to do, but you also learn this, you know. So uh, one in in the beginning, I also I only had Easy Ripper Manager, so now I am um, having so I have I think four paid assets. Um, so so yeah, the the uh, the third asset that came uh, that I made was Opportunity, so a, a license manager where you can. Um, I love the name. It's awesome name. Yeah, uh, where you have your uh, your clients pay um, via pay PayPal to play your game, you know, for just one month or, or, or two months or two days or whatever, you know. Wow, that's I've, that is that is a fantastic idea. Thank you. So, how did you come up with that? Um, basically, you know, um, if you have um, so the the first kinds of MMOs, you know, there was like World of Warcraft or something, you know. So the first were really, you know. So and they were uh, so at least World of Warcraft it was you know uh, pay by the month you know well so yeah that, was, that's that's your you average had to extend by the month you know exactly that's so normal I, so but right. but to do like for days or that, exactly that's, that's that's great yes thank you um, yeah I, I had it had a round of update before uh, before I was uh, turned to UMO so I uh, updated it um, you know back, gave it a new yeah new uh, functionality here and there and just uh, made it up to date so that it works with the latest unity and fix some bugs and um yeah you can um, get paid with that well it's a in this day and age when i was a kid we used to have um demos on the fronts of magazines that's how you got to know if a game was any good or not and most times you never really bought a game you just got the demos on the cover of magazines and you you played them and that, and that was it you had like a level but, that's true so it's like it's like the modern version of being able to give people a sneak glimpse right and you can also put a, a free number of days so you, you play like for for three days for free and um and after that you have to pay to to uh, continue keeping that account you know otherwise you can um have a new account but then you know maybe your stuff is lost you know which you uh, accumulated so um Popping back into, hang on, let me get the OBS working again to pop us back into the uh, UMO. Yes. Here we go. So I'm back into Where's Wally. All right. So, so yeah, as said, I, uh, I'm overhauling it. And um, yeah, I, so this version you see now on, on the screen, um, it's definitely a much more advanced than what is now in the store. So um, I'm figuring out some log logistics, you know, so I want, I am uh, creating a new demo scene and, um, you know, having, uh, sorting some some stuff out. But basically uh, the, the core of it is, is pretty much ready to go and um, very much looking forward to up uploading that to the store. So how would this uh, work with when you've got an FPS or a combat um, game? If you wanted to do something like PUBG, where you've got um, obviously shooting against each other is going to be very important. And you yes. want to avoid people being able to do cheats and hacks like seems to be plaguing games like PUBG. Yes. So what you have most of the times is that um, when they have these MMOs, uh, they um, they use uh, cl local player authority to have you to ma have you uh, make movements uh, as fast as possible, you know. So, but this also 
um, exposes you to to hacking, you know. So as soon as you give the player the the client authority over anything, you know, so it is just a invitation to get hacked, you know. So this is why I'm very um, yeah I took a lot of effort to um, improve the uh, server authority mode as, as, as far as possible, you know? So if you're a little bit acquainted with um, UNET, you know that uh, on the network identity, you have the switch, you know, local player um, authority or not. So, and if you unswitch this, then you have the server authority. And so definitely your mode takes this into account. And um, yeah, so you are, uh, ready to uh, uh, create your uh, server authority um, player controller or whatever. And um, so this is one side, you know, to, to, uh, to have it make it server authority so that hacking is impossible. Uh, yes, you more can also do client authority, yes. So that, that would, because you've got to have the happy blend between having um, the security, but also being able to have your game playable and not have ridiculous lag between shooting someone. True. So with shooting, so shooting is, 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 is a different act. You know, I was just uh, uh, emailing this the other day to, to someone who asked the same question. So if you're shooting and if you are in client authority, so then it's very easy. Yeah. So because the client says like, oh, I hit this guy. So, and you just send this information to the server and it, that's it, you know? So if you have server authority with shooting, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because uh, basically what you, what you want to do is um, you want to send the timestamp from when you were shooting. So, uh, and because uh, server and client in UMO have the same network time. So if the server receives the, this, this timestamp of when you shot, you know, basically when, when you, did the shot um it can then uh, it, it should then be able to um yeah uh, go back in time basically because the 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 information that you shot uh, it takes some time you know so it should get uh, back in time and see okay when it was uh, at that time so the um the crosshair was at this point you know so uh basically it, it hit or it didn't hit, you know? So it, it, it shouldn't be uh, calculated live on the live stuff because the, the scene is already much further, you know? So, and um, so this is something which is not yet in there, you know? So this automatic uh, shooting, um, um, basically decision, uh, which gets, uh, which takes the, um, uh, moment from uh, from from back in time, you know, this is not in there yet. But uh, because there are so many questions, because so many people want to make FPS, I will definitely also get in that get that in there. Yeah, oh, brilliant. We got a couple of questions here. Um, sure. Uh, what's what do you feel are the major differences between UMMO two and UMMO RPG? Meaning, what are the benefits of UMMO over UMMO RPG? Well, well RPG? from what from what I heard. Um, UMO RPG, um, so it uses the um, nuff match agent, and uh, so that's you, you cannot jump, you know. So you, you can uh, do this here. You you can jump in my games. Uh, it's it's physics. It's a physics based controller. Uh, I don't know whether he um, takes a, a server authority um, into account. I have no idea. Um, so basically. Uh, UMO came, you know, came first in the beginning of 2014, and um, so I'm little, I'm a little bit surprised that someone would uh, just um, put three letters at the end of, of um, at the end of my asset name, you know, and basically sell a package which c could be, you know, it's it's not very clear, but it could be figured out, figured uh, a competitor, you know, so. So I'm, I'm I'm just you know I'm it, it just surprised me you know so uh, let's 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 keep it like that let's keep it like that <laughs> is um is UMMO using unit HLA well Halapi HLA API <laughs> yeah, <Halapi. laughs> I, I love these and, um, or is it using a custom UDP framework uh, it's using HLA API at this moment yes. Um, we got. 
Oh, um, hail and do streamers. Does anyone have an idea how a raycast tile of a tile map? Is that in for the chat or is that here for Linus? Um, any, any optimization options? Let's say you only need to sync positions and nothing else. Good question. Uh, so uh, what, what's, what's the question? Oh, yeah. Are there any optimizations? Yes, yes, you can choose uh, to only uh, sync the positions uh, in, and indeed nothing else. Yes. So, and if the position, if you, if you, if you, in example, if you have an NPC and it, it didn't move at all, you know, um, or like our players, you know, so there is no um, data update when when there is no change, you know. So um, optimization in this uh, regard to have it to have it, um, yeah, you know, as as slick as possible, you know. Um. Bacon Ramsey's just talking about Ultimate Survival of Map Magic and Voxel Land, um, and also Aquas and Enviro, which kind of raises a nice question. Have you had any experience with um, procedurally generated worlds and UMMO or multiplayer? Um, so, this is so, as said, uh, Unity, uh, sorry, UMMO have, has its own. Um, um, synchronization framework you know so where synchronization is made very easy uh, that does not mean that everything you put into it uh, is, is, is just magically synch synchronized you know um, just like that you know so you have uh, just like you have different player controllers you have totally different kinds of generated worlds you know different uh, generated uh, uh, terrains or whatever and thus uh, the mm, the data the, the serialized data, if, if you can, um, if you can uh, figure that out, where, where that is, how that gets generated, and then it's, I think, very easy to also sync that through UMO, you know? So, but you need, you need to know where the data is and you need to um, basically follow, uh, follow the tutorial or just write me, you know, I, I answer stuff about, I answer questions about this stuff every day. Um, that leads into a nice question. Do you have a Discord server that people can come and talk to you about your stuff, your assets that you sell? Uh, no, sir, not at this moment. Uh, it's a very good idea. I want to. Uh, I, I want to in the next next time. I hope I will get into uh, making a server. Uh, sorry, making a uh, a forum and Discord server. Why not? You know, why not? So um, we've got so far. We've given away. Um, the easy replay we've also got the opportunity to give away you've also been generous been very generous a bit too generous some might say you've given us moddable <laughs> as well so want to talk yes. a little bit about um moddable moddable yes so uh we uh had the idea last year around this time you know around yeah, around end of january so to um so we're a little bit nostalgic people you know what uh, with um, regard to uh, to modding, you know. So um, I was uh, modding uh, Counter Strike servers back in the days, you know. So it was very easy, you know, to to have just uh, make some put some script uh, in some map in, in some uh, sorry in some folder, and it just executes, you know. So um, so with Modable, what you're actually able to do is just um, without any big IDEs, without Unity or every or anything. Uh, your your customer can basically um, just script some stuff, you know, just just hack some stuff uh, into some text file, and it just works, you know. So uh, we put a lot of effort into that, and basically how you just integrate it. Okay, you you uh, buy a modable, you uh, import it into your project, and what you just do is uh, you use uh, C sharp attributes. Um, about uh, above a function or above a. Um, um, above a variable and then it's just moddable you know so this function and this uh, variable is just just moddable you know so there's a lot of stuff going on behind uh, beneath the hut you know so but you don't need to worry about that because uh, worryable uh, moddable basically um, uh, basically does it all for you you know so it was basically yeah the first half of 2017 uh, me and my wife you know my wife was a programmer as well so we uh, actually used uh, quite a lot of weekends to um, really get this up and running, and it basically works. So, so your your wife's part of the team with you? Yes. Well, she has a day job as, also as a, as a programmer, as PHP programmer. But um, yeah, so last year we uh, took some heart, you know, 
to some courage and uh, worked through some weekends, you know, to to um, get this up and running. How does it? Um, I've I've worked um, with my wife before, and I've, <laughs> we've we've actually worked a couple of jobs um, together. I, I, I'm curious for this question. All right. So, uh, and I, everyone always raises the question about like, how are you able to work with your spouse? I'm very lucky that <laughs> me and my wife. Um, We've never we've never had a single problem uh, in all the years that we ever worked together, okay. um, and everyone thinks that's bizarre and that's strange. So how do you get on with um, with your wife? Like, are you her boss? Because with mine, we were separate departments, so we, <laughs> so that made it easy. There was never a chance okay. that she was my superior, or I was hers, and then you know got a little bit of friction. But if you're both right. working together on, on on a project, how does that work? Who uh, who wears the question. trousers? <laughs> so it's my company so no but um so the thing is about my, uh, me and my wife we so we met each other in university uh when uh you know learning for our informatics degree so you know so we know each other uh even uh earlier f uh, from uh, working together than then you know being together being a couple you know being uh being married you know so uh so we actually do have um so people always complimented us when they saw us working. So you work very well together, you know. So um, yeah. So it, it it can also get heated because uh, you know when we work through the whole weekend, you know we're actually not used to that at all, you know. So um, so sometimes you know if, if if you get tired, you know you can just uh, yeah it was some uh, yeah some funny arguments uh, can can occur. But basically we know each other from working together so, and and also programming and we have both the same vision uh, about this asset so and we could just uh, get on with it so and my wife will also come into play uh, when we extend unity for the next time so this uh, this round of updates will include a set or certitive movement um, overhaul and all that so after that so uh, so I have some uh, projects coming in the middle of the year. After that, uh, she, uh, so she, I will integrate a database layer solution, which she works on um, for, yeah, f she worked on for years, basically. So we wanted to make it a separate asset, but uh, we will definitely now also include in UMO, you know, so that you have uh, basically uh, a ORM, so object relational mapping. Uh, where you can have very easy um, database access syntax, you know. Um, so, and it will also work for basically um, uh, any, I think, relational data, database uh, engine, you know. So, this is another thing where my wife will come in. So, she, she has a solution kind of ready. So, I'm... Of course, I need to do so much stuff uh, before I get there. But if when I get there, I uh, hope it's you know it's ready, it's usable, and I will include the new UMO as well. Yeah. yeah so okay. basically, it's 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 basically a within one day, no matter how big your project is, within one day you will be a, you have basically mod support included, and it's it's very flexible. So if if the on the mod side a function is called and it's um, it's a moddable function from your game, so the game function is called, and on the other way around, if the game calls a function and it's a moddable function, so your uh, mod function is called. You can, you can have multiple mods next to each other. Um, yeah, so it, it took quite some time to, to get this really sorted out, you know, so, um, but we did for you. So uh, how can you, um, like, lock it down and restrict the, the moddable functions? Yes. So what you're basically doing, you are whitelisting the function in your project, uh, uh, the function and variables in your project uh, uh, to be moddable, you know, uh, to be modeled by your players. So uh, what if basically if you don't want your game to be, uh, if you don't want some, an example, uh, some, lo some logo or something, um, just... Uh, put just 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 get gotten out of there you know so what you basically do is you don't uh, expose a function w w w with which you can change uh, the logo and make it moddable i mean you can still have that function which changes the logo but if you don't make it moddable then the players cannot change it you know so you're basically um yeah you basically have all freedoms so there are some uh, some vanilla functions, you know, in, in the mods which you can use, but uh, also a great way uh, if 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 you need 
if if you don't find the function which you need, uh, you just uh, create it on your on your own in in Unity and you make it moddable. You know, just uh, put um, moddable uh, up there as as a C sharp attribute, and that's it. That, that that's absolutely so it, it. It literally is a day, and then you're done. Yes, yes. It, it, this is not a joke. This is really a day for a big project. So if you have a small project, then I think it could be ten minutes. <laughs> wow, that's just insane. Yes. And currently, you've got it at an, a special reduced price. It says here on the on the asset store. Yes. So, um, so because yeah, so we we don't have a big marketing operation going, you know. So I'm basically a programmer, which uh, uh, who uh, likes um, programming much more than marketing. So and this shows a little bit with uh, with new assets, you know. So they there's a little bit some. Um, yeah, some some delay, you know, until people get to recognize it and all this, you know. Um, but uh, now it's now it's 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 getting warmer, you know. So basically, Modelable is is sold every uh, every month for m multiple copies, and um, yeah. So, so basically, now we're gonna give we're gonna give away the winner. We're gonna pick the winner, and if you haven't won, it's on a bargain at twenty nine dollars. And he's just told us all. Oh, that we can make our games moddable within about from 10 minutes to a day, depending on how complex the project is. So yes. it's pretty much a no-brainer. All right. So, so once again, uh, so we don't have so much time left, but so once again, so uh, what you see is um, UMO uh, um, synchronizing uh, NPCs. So basically, uh, Anthony is quite far away from the server, you know, the server's in Munich. So where you are, where you at, Anthony? Um, I'm Greece, right? in, in, no, I'm in England. Oh, you're in England now. Oh, okay, okay. So, so it's not 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 so far, but um, basically um, you see all this uh, fluent movement. Um, Jumping yeah. Bears. All, although there are so many NPCs and they are moving so quickly, you know. How, so how they're many NPCs are there in this scene? I think there. I think there are fifty. So and they're moving quite quite fast, you know. So basically, normally normally uh, fast movement is 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 not an easy thing to 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 have, you know. So. Also, um, somebody made a nice comment that this looks like GTA gone wrong with all these NPCs. <laughs> but it does, well, you know, you could, because there are a few assets out there that to make your own version of GTA, um, which don't actually have networking put in yet. Yeah. So with a little little bit of work, or quite a lot of work. Depending on, yeah, if you, on, on if you um, want to sync the whole inventory, or um, if they are very complex uh, player con player controllers, you know, the, it, it can take some more time, you know. So it's um, but basically we have uh, we have the mechanics in UMO to to make it as painless as possible with also your individual uh, uh, controller. Well awesome. done, well, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very time. much. So, love you all. This was my first ever interview. So, I hope you understood what I said. So, when I was, you know, sometimes I want to say three things at the same time. Doesn't matter. Uh, if you have still some questions, uh, hit me up with a mail or something. Your your English was perfect, mate. Don't worry about it. Uh, your, your no, it was. Your English was. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So, um, that was that was Umo. That was software. Congratulations to everyone who's won those stuff. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for this interview. I had a great time. I hope you did too. We tend to do an interview like this every week. I've done quite a few on Twitch already, and I'll be doing a lot more to come. And if you ever want to take part in these live interviews, don't forget to pop over to Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. Click follow. You get notified when I'm live. Pop in, have a chat, we have a great time, everyone is really friendly. We've also got the Discord, I'll stick that in the description down below. And guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, don't forget to click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell your friends, tell your neighbours, tell the world! And remember, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.